You know, I, I've always considered the Carolina rig as one of the best structure lures ever because you can drag it, you can cast it, you can fish it in almost any depth water. You can fish it really shallow, you can fish it really deep. And it's, it's just so easy to work structure because it comes through stuff really well. It's it, like I haven't been hung on it hardly at all. I, I didn't lose a single one of them yesterday. And so I have heavy braid. I do have 65 pound braid. And I do have a 25 pound fluorocarbon leader because I'm after some big fish. I figure I might catch the biggest one of my life. So I'm really kind of fishing a little heavy. There's one. Oh yeah, that's a better fish. Better maybe, a little bit. Nice. Nah, he just felt big. He's fighting hard. <laughs> fighting hard. Boy, he took off with it like crazy. Nice, nice little, little deal. You know, these are just average sized fish, but you never know when you're gonna get a big fish. We're showing you the right kind of setup and we're expecting a, a big fish. And by the way, here on this Lake Bacharach, I caught the biggest fish I've ever caught in my life. And so consequently, I have high expectations on catching another one. And then whenever you make a cast and you're thinking about catching a really big fish, you haven't, you're having really having fun and you're really fishing hard. And I am now, I'm just, I just think I can maybe catch a bigger fish than I've ever caught. Okay, let me show you a little bit about how I have the setup, set up with this uh, Carolina rig. The first thing is a rod. You need at least a seven foot rod. A lot of you people use seven and a half foot rods. And that's a, uh, this is an Emperor series by favorite and it's seven foot three inches, I think. And it's pretty heavy duty and you need a long leader. So that's why you need a long rod. This is a 7.3 reel, but I have 65 pound test braid on here. I'm after big fish here in Mexico and I don't need 65 in many places, but I do here because there's a little bit of brush. And for a leader complement, I'm using 25 pound fluorocarbon. And that's a 65 pound test swivel, by the way. And I'm having a, a four aught EWG hook. I'm using a, a tungsten one ounce weight. Anyway, that's my, my weight complement and my hook complement. Now for a worm, it's a Cinco five inch, but it has three injections. It's a really complicated mold. It's kind of a little bit dingy water right, right here. That tail is actually fluorescent in 25 feet of water, probably glows a little bit. Now, one thing about a Carolina rig is I like to drag it. I don't hop it, I don't skip it, I don't swim it. I drag it, just kind of keep contact on the bottom. Anyway, I've caught some big fish doing it. Let's get started and catch another one. Nice little bass. And here's the deal. It's not a big fish, but it's plenty, plenty active. And uh, it took that, it took that tricolored worm. That's the one that I've done so well with. It's been a really, really good worm. And uh, it's, it, you know, it's the process of making this worm is a little different than a lot of other worms. They had to make a three injection mold and very expensive and very complicated. And there's hardly anybody that's doing three injection stuff and Yamamoto figured it out. 